Hi friends, in this tutorial we will see how to enable profiles using Spring Boot. For this I am going to take reference of my website javanews.com. So go to the Spring Boot section. So here we are going to implement this tutorial Spring Boot plus Faga plus Profile. So in one of the previous tutorial we had implemented uh, Spring Boot and uh, Swagger application. So Swagger is a REST API documentation. You can go uh, through this tutorial here for what we have done here. Uh, now uh, currently the Swagger feature it is uh, enabled by default. So if this application is up, no matter in which environment this application is deployed, if you go to this URL, we'll see that we'll see the application uh, documentation which uh, is provided by Swagger. But in some scenario, suppose we want that this documentation, it should be shown only in the QA environment and not in the production environment. So this is where we can use uh, Spring Profiles. So this is what we are going to do. The Swagger application that we had developed previously, we are going to apply profiles for it. So we'll uh, apply uh, Spring Boot uh, profile in such a way that the uh, Swagger REST uh, documentation it will be available to the user only in the QA environment and it will not be available in other environments. So uh, for starting this tutorial, go to this uh, previous tutorial of Spring Boot and Swagger implementation and download the source code from here. So uh, this is a Maven project and this will be the starting point for our application. Uh, import this Maven project in Eclipse. So let's begin with this tutorial of implementing profiles using Spring Boot. So I have uh, imported the project that I had uh, downloaded before here. So the f uh, if we currently I'll just uh, run this application because I'll do a Maven install. Now if I start this application, run as a Java application. We go to localhost it, it is swaggerui.html. So here we can see that uh, our swagger uh, it has started correctly. Now we want that whenever this application it is deployed in QA only then this documentation should be shown. And uh, in other environments like production and dev this should not be uh, there or this should be disabled. So for that we will implement uh, profiles. So for this we'll have to add a property to the application.properties file. So go to source main resources. In the source main resources, uh, create a file named as application.properties. So currently here I have written that spring.profiles.active swagger disabled for QA. So currently we have written uh, this property as it should be disabled for QA. Next, open the swagger config.java file. So, here we will be adding an annotation. This one, at the rate profile, where we will tell that for which environment this config file it should be enabled. So, currently uh, we have mentioned here that whenever we have swagger enabled for QA, only then the swagger config file it should be enabled and it should get loaded. So, copy this. So here we have that uh, it should be swagger enabled for QA but in the prop application or properties we have swagger disabled for QA. So unless and until we have this property swagger enabled for QA in the active spring profiles uh, this swagger config it will not be enabled. Run this application. Again.
refresh this so here you can see that uh, the rest documentation it is empty so no rest documentation is present now suppose we are going to deploy this application in QA we'll only have to change the single property here to enabled and then deploy the application So now we have this swagger enabled for QA active profile and here also we have swagger enabled for uh, QA in the profile tag. So now the swagger config it will get loaded correctly and we'll able to see the documentation again. So this is how uh, profiles work with Spring Boot. In the application dot properties, in the application dot properties we have to mention what all Spring profiles we want as active and only those beans will then get uh, configured or loaded during startup. Uh, I hope you have understood this tutorial. The source code it can be downloaded from here. Thank you.